How's it going guys? It's Junkie here and today's video is going to be awesome. We're going to show you how to bypass factory reset protection or FRP on should be just about every Samsung phone on the market. This should be very universal and should work on Android 6.10 newest security update. I'm technically on this Galaxy S7 right here on the July update. Should work on the August update as well. Um, it's going to be a little time consuming, but we're going to show it to you. Right now, I'm just showing you this screen so you can see that the FRP lock is on. Um, so the device is FRP locked currently. All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and boot out of this screen, and uh, we're going to show you these steps. So as you can see, my uh, device right here is on the welcome screen. So there's a couple things you're going to need to do. Um, go ahead and just do English is fine. You can agree to that. Connect to a Wi-Fi network um, on your device. Just have that pre-done. Uh, that's the first step here. I could go through and show you that I'm stuck on the, you know, logging with previously synced Google account, but it's no point because I showed you the FRP. So basically, you're going to get to this screen. You're going to be connected to a Wi-Fi spot at your house. You can have a SIM card in or not. It does not matter. Um, I'm going to show it to you without a SIM card. I think it's a little safer way to do this. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to shoot it to my computer and use some tools over there to get this bypass working. All right. So first things first, go ahead and plug in your USB cable to your device and to your computer and let that sucker just kind of sit there. And then we're going to come over to our computer here and we're going to download some files. So this is my server site right here, rootjunkiesdl.com. And uh, you're going to download this right here. This is com root junkie FRP bypass 1.1 or 1.0 APK. So download that. And then you're going to download this real term signed wrapper setup exe. And you're going to install that program. That's what we're going to use to escalate privileges into this device. Okay. So you've got those two things downloaded. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over here. And here is the real term exe. So you just click on it and hit run you know go through the whole setup process you know next check every box next 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 and then it finishes the setup and you'll have it on your desktop okay so i'm just going to say um yeah i want to quit this for right now and normally it should install in here somewhere right there and then you should be able to just go to real term and you get this program right here okay so from this program we got to do some things to set it up to make it work correctly. So the first thing you got to do is under display right here, you got to check um, half dulux, duplux, whatever that is. Um, just make sure your screen matches mine exactly here. Next, we have to figure out our COM port number. Okay. To do that, what you need to do is you need to come in here to computer, right click with your mouse and hit manage. Okay. You need to get into device manager, which is right here. All right, so in Device Manager, go find modems, and then you're looking for Samsung modem USB. All right, so here, here you're going to right-click and go to Properties. You're going to go to Modems, and you want to find out what COM port this device is running under. So we're under COM5. It could be any number. It doesn't matter. Just find out what yours is. So you can close that out, and you can close out Device Manager. And now we're going to come over here, see it says COM1, we're going to call that COM5. Now if you get something like this after it, don't worry about that, just erase it and make it COM5, just like that. See it? So after that, we're going to come over here to the um, send, and we're going to put in a special code right there to send to the device a command that's going to do some cool tricks for us. So let me go ahead and grab that command for you. So the command is this. Make sure you put it in here. Don't like copy paste it in up here. Just make sure you put it in right there. And then hit send right here. So if you get nothing like this, just try it one more time. Uh, I forget. All right, so, basic, so basically, I even forgot to do this. When you hit port 5, you have to click change. All right, so now we're on port 5. Then you come over here to send. Have that number you put in. Hit send. And you see it got an error. Now, the reason it gets an error is because I don't have a SIM card in. It's not an issue, though. Let it error. 
if you don't have a sim if you have a sim card it'll say okay all right so now we got to run the next command to the device and again you'll get all these commands so don't worry about it but you'll see them so now we're gonna take this one and we're gonna put in this command and we're gonna hit send and watch what happens on the device make sure the device is powered on there you go watch what happens on the device when I click send here all right you see it right here no registered network or not registered on network so now what you gotta do is very careful this is gonna be quick you're gonna hit OK and it's gonna open up a dialer and then close it because there's no sim card but if you're very fast you can do this watch and try one more time sometimes it takes a couple of tries hit send you can keep doing it see it did you see it see right there oh there it is see it keep sending that command until you get to this screen once you're on this screen we don't care about real term no more we've escalated privileges into device and now we can finish this process we're done on the computer all right so we've escalated privileges into the device now what you got to do is on this screen scroll down and see right here it says scan business card so we're going to click that and then we're going to click uh, download and what that's going to do is that's going to open up the Samsung Play Store as you can see but we don't really care about this application at all what we want to do is we want to search and we want to search for ES file explorer and we'll go ahead and just click one to install now what it's going to ask for is it's going to ask you to input your Samsung account if you do not have a Samsung account that's fine you can go ahead and create one if you do have a Samsung account then just put in your Samsung account so I'm gonna do and put in my Samsung account alright so my account has gone ahead and it's syncing right now so what it should be doing is going ahead and installing that ES file browser now this is where it's really critical that you had already done your Wi-Fi because you need to have network I'm go ahead and hit download um, really critical for that the other thing I want to note: the easy way if you have an SD card um, go ahead pop the SD card out micro SD card put that app that I had you download from my site on to the SD card that uh, root junkie FRP bypass application because now we can load that application and finish this process now if you don't have an SD card I'll try to show you another method uh, to escalate farther so that you can download it without having an SD card but having an SD card is the easiest way to do it from here okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna go to hit hit this one to open it and it opens up that application okay and now from here we can navigate uh, I don't even care about updating right now I just want to navigate so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna scroll down to storage and then we're gonna look for this one which is my SD card and right there is my FRP bypass application so that's the easiest form to do it the other method you can use is I think you can go into favorites and we can add a favorite so we'll add one all right and, uh, and we're gonna call the path to this um, root junkie sdl.com and probably we should do HTTP colon slash slash and and then say name root all right and now the other way we can do that is we should be able to come in here and see here it says root and click on that and it should open up this okay so then you come into apps and you FRP folder and then come down here to that same application and download it directly to the device all right so open in folder and you can see it's right there so we can click on it hit install package installer and if you get a sparsing problem it just has to do with my site you can we'll have to make another place you can download it from but that's how you would do it manually um, I'll put that link somewhere else that you can get it to but that sparsing package there is annoying with this so we're just gonna go back and make it an easier way to do it so storage we'll do it the easy way back to the SD card click on the application this is the easiest way to do it hit install install go to block settings go click unknown sources and if you've seen any of my FRP bypass videos, you know that I already have it from here. So install the FRP bypass application. And basically what this is going to do is this is going to allow me to go right to the correct shortcut activity and put in any Google account I want. 
So we're gonna go ahead and hit open. And as you can see, it's brought me to the screen. You click on the top, you go browser uh, sign in, you hit okay. And here you can now put in any Google account that you want on this device. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in a different Google account that I've never signed into this device with before. All right, so it's syncing that account at this point and it's done, it boots right back to this screen. All right, that's it. You have officially done the job. Now, from here, it's really, really cool. You can actually um, just go ahead and power off the device and do a restart. And once the restart finishes, basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna go through the setup wizard, but instead of telling you that you have to, you know, log in with a previously synced account, it's gonna say you're already logged in. And it's gonna just let you skip right through it and finish setting up the phone. So I'm gonna show you that process as well, just to be official and then show you what build I'm on. So start. If I have any of my personal content, I will block that out. Hit next. Agree to terms. Checking connection right here. Standard stuff. Checking software update. It says add an account. So you can see this is already different, right? So hit next. The Just a Sex screen takes forever. So if you are stuck on the Just a Sex screen, try rebooting the device and letting it wait again. Sometimes it takes forever. After about two minutes, I came up and said, you know, you've already linked this account. You want to add another one and got rid of that Just a Sex screen. It does take a long time. Uh, I'm just going to say no thanks for a pin right now uh, just to kind of work through the finish the setup process um, and get this thing fully done. Uh, it asked if I want to restore... Um, I'm going to say don't restore. I have a lot of devices, as you can uh, tell. And I'm going to say uh, off, so later. Let's do later. I don't want to mess with that right now. Um, old content later. And finish. And I don't care to agree with Samsung at all, or T-Mobile. Baloney. And voila. So you can see I'm in. Everything's uh, crackulating. Um, now, you can see Oculus is installed. That's because I was trying another FRP bypass method the other day. But anyway, um, so you can see we're going to boot it in. We're going to go to About Device, and I'm going to show you right there. See it? It's T-Mobile Galaxy S7, um, and then right there, Android version 6.0.1, security patch level July 1st, 2016. So there you go, guys. That is the process. Um, I think, like I said, this should work on almost all Samsung devices. Um, as long as you can get in with that dollar trick, it's stinking amazing. But I hope you guys liked the video. I got to say, this is not discovered by me, okay? I love researching this stuff and finding new packs, hacks. Now, a lot parts of this are me but, um, and stuff that I've worked on. But the, the initial exploit to get into the dialer is something that was sent to me, and they said, you got to check this out, and I did, and there you go. Now you can see how to do it. So hope you enjoy it. Um, definitely give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Please share on your social media. Tell all your friends. Um, you know, Pass the word. I'd really, really appreciate it. And that's going to wrap it up for me. Catch you guys in the next FRP video. Root Junkie out.